Hello, welcome to smarthelping.com. This is a overview of the five-year vending machine financial model. And I'm just doing some overviews on the upgrades as well as just going through the general logic. Uh, the upgrades we're adding connected income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement monthly and annual as well as a cap table. And we just improve some of the overall assumption layouts. So if we look here, the front page global control is just to define um, name of the company, which will go to the financial statements at the top, the launch year, end month if applicable, and if you want to include a terminal value or not, and if so, what the multiple is on that. You also got some assumptions here for any uh, debt funding. Uh, the resulting equity requirement will populate after that, and you could define how that's split up based on the cap table assumptions, which will flow into here. Now the cap table you got over here, minimum equity required, which is based on startup costs and any burn. You pick who's coming, who's who is that cash coming from, and how much of the company are they getting, based on three different share types. Uh, deployment. So this is a big part of it. This we're going to plan out like your deployment of the different vending machines. You could have up to three types, and those are differentiated by uh, the cost to buy each one, uh, as well as the cost of deployment. And then on the revenue side, they'll be differentiated by the sizing and the average cost per item sold, as well as um, seasonality logic. So you could do your uh, deployment schedule uh, by each type, how much it costs to do deployment, shipping, setup of the original vending machine um, build out. This will all go dynamically to the depreciation schedule as well. Uh, also note, I did put logic in for the exit, which will be able, you can include a separate line item for the value of the vending machines. If you want to separate that out from your EBITDA multiple. And if not, uh, you can just zero that out. Uh, so if we go to revenue, I kind of went over this, but you got um, for each vending machine type, you can define the height, width, and depth of the unit. So you got, you know, your rows down, your columns over, and then your depth. Uh, that'll define your max items uh, that you can have at one time. You can fi figure out your max refills per month, and that gives you your maximum sales per month. Uh, then we've got some assumptions here about uh, the amount you're going to have in waste like if it expires or what have you, the average price per item sold. And for average price per item sold, I did do helper calcs here. So you can actually put in individual items here as well as the expected sales per month and get a weighted average uh, sales price based on that. Um, and same with cost of goods sold. So this is a little helper to try to make it easier to define each vending machine's assumptions for um, the average price per sold net weight, average cost of goods sold percentage. Uh, so you've got that for each type. Uh, cost, so variable cost here would be average cost per refill per um, vending machine in each year. So it's 250 and you refill twice a month, that's 500 bucks a, a vending machine per month. Um, then some fixed costs for general administration you could fill out start month, cost per month in each of the years, and the cost detail here. You've also got function of total monthly revenue, which is a percentage of total revenue, and you can do the start month. Uh, for seasonality, you can define the percentage of the maximum possible sales capacity that you attain in each of the 12 months of each year. So that can be adjusted by vending machine type as well, type one, two, and three. Um, so this is really cool logic here. Startup costs simply, uh, this would be like legal fees. And, uh, anything that you have that's not a depreciable item that happens before the operations. CapEx uh, here, these might be things like trucks uh, and computer equipment, maybe uh, things like that. Uh, note the vending machine capex is on a separate schedule and the depreciation is on a separate logical schedule as well. Cap table, we went over that. Terminal value, uh, went over this a little bit uh, just to find the, the exit. Um, the percentage of the 
even a multiple valuation that goes towards um, any CapEx versus just extraordinary income. This is just going to be a factor for taxes. If you don't have taxes, I mean, if you don't want to um, put taxes in the model, you can put this at 100% and zero these tax rates out. Inventory, this is your schedule for purchasing. So here you can define how many months you're going to buy the inventory you're selling in the vending machines for. So if you buy it every five months, it'll look at the five months uh, expected sales um, or cost of goods sold based on the sales. And you'll buy that at every five month interval. Debt schedule, here you can just find the terms of that. The amount will be on the global control. And then you can do the term, interest rate, payments per year, uh, and the, the first, uh, basically when you're going to borrow the money, which will very likely be the first month of whatever year of the forecast, or the first, within the first year. All right, next up, income statements. So here's your formal financial statements. You've got sales of all your different vending machine items, your revenues, um, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, startup costs, EBITDA, which is earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization, interest, depreciation of those fixed cost items, as well as vending machines in their own row. These are all vending machines. So this is aggregating that. Um, you can see over here on the depreciation schedule, you can enter the, the useful life here, <clears throat> and this will flow through and give you your depreciation um, for the vending machines as they're purchased. And then we've got here, um, so this row was added to account for net gain or loss of vending machines, which is a, kind of the same logic as this, but it's just separated. And you've also got um, extra income from the sale of the business. Here, you got taxable income and then the income or taxes and then uh, net income. And you can see the taxes for the last 12 months will be higher because it's average, averaging out the taxes for the year. Um, and so if you include taxes in your sales proceeds, it's going to be higher for the last year. Income statement annual, same deal, but on an annual basis. Balance sheet monthly, you've got your two uh, asset items, cash and inventory. You've also got the fixed assets which is all of your capex spend as well as the vending machines themselves now if you're renting vending machines i guess that'd be a bit different um if you wanted to try to do that you basically would zero out the entire deployment schedule um actually you would zero out the cost you would still have vending machines happening you just wouldn't have uh, an initial cost um, and you might not have these costs either um, but you do have the vending machines coming into existence as you rent them out. Um, you just won't have a cost, and instead you'll put the rent in the general administrative, and you just put, estimate your monthly rent over time. Uh, if you were going to rent instead of buy the machines. Okay, uh, so balance sheet, we got down to here, accumulated appreciation. Uh, and then you've got total assets liabilities is just the one debt row and then you've got owner's equity retained earnings and then owner's equity plus liabilities will always equal assets or else we did something wrong in the logic and this is all dynamic it will update with the assumptions uh, balance sheet annual same deal but on an annual basis cash flow gives you the cash flow from all the different activities operations investing financing total cash flow change in each period Cash flow annual, same deal, but on an annual basis. Executive summary gives you a high level look at all the financials from basically income statement ish, other cash flow items, total cash flow, returns, IRR for the project, investors, and owners, and a couple of visuals over here. Distributions here's your discounted cash flow analysis. Uh, you can do discount rate, get the net present value for the project. You can also do it for the investor side and the owner side. Also a visualization on that. Some general visuals for uh, key annual financial performance, cumulative vending machines deployed over time, monthly cash flow, 
vending machine count versus monthly EBITDA. Cumulative lending machines deployed over time. Vending machines deployed over time. Annual EBITDA per vending machine. This is an interesting metric. Uh, expenses. Uh, monthly EBITDA per machine. Annual revenue by type. Annual gross profit by type. So that's kind of cool. You can see um, how much gross profit each of your vending machine types is expected to bring in versus how much revenue. And then finally, we've got monthly and annual detail here. You can see all the details of the assumptions plugged in here. And uh, so deployment, how many total you have, the max sales, the waste, the actual sales, the actual sales revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, and then all your OPEX here, uh, variable, variable costs down there, uh, R&D, uh, EBITDA, debt service, all your other cash flow items, and then we get down to final cash flow. All right, well, that's all I got for you. This is a great financial simulation if you're looking to deploy vending machines. Uh, this will help you do the financial planning and strategic um, you know, pricing analysis, how fast you want to scale, what the cash requirements would be, all that stuff. So it's, it's a really helpful tool. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and check out more. Uh, the link will be in the description box below for this. Um, you can buy it on smarthelping.com as well as other vendor sites that are listed on usually uh, Eloquence eFinch models. Alrighty, take it easy.